guys, it's me, Jody from O'Neill Steals, and I'm back with another video for you today. Today's gonna be Vlogmas Day 25 and 26 because things, you know, were kind of chill, but also like it's a holiday. Um, so I didn't have a lot of footage from yesterday, kind of how it went, and then from today again kind of a casual Saturday. So um, it might be a short video. I'm not entirely sure quite yet because I still have to edit it. But without further ado, let's jump right in. Thank you guys so much for watching already. Uh, please like this video before you leave. Thanks. Happy Christmas Eve. This is just going to go in the 25th video. So every Christmas Eve, we pick one present from under the tree to get opened up the night before. So we're going to go do that. Yay. Yay. Ain't gonna pick a present too, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> and the the receiver gets to pick, is the rule. Let's see what it is. Looks like a book. You got a book? again. <laughs> oh, it's my journals! These are the bullet journals that I use. He got me some new ones. Very exciting! Ta-da! <laughs> Thanks, babe! What is that, Bubby? Merry Christmas! He's like, I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> our tradition to sit on the kitchen floor and open our presents next to the tree and it always makes them a giant mess and it's lovely and then the cat's playing it. <laughs> what are you doing, Jack? <laughs> He's under there somewhere. <laughs> Just a paw coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Your face itchy? Huh? <laughs> Have it go. Happy Christmas, Poppy. What I got for Christmas from my husband. This really cool tabletop fireplace that our cat is currently being like, what the frick is this? Um, yeah. It's really awesome. Thanks, babe. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> my husband was going to have someone stop by and pick up a bottle of um, alcohol that he had to give him. They are going to just like exchange gifts. They work together. Michael just forgot to do it over the week during work. Um... And so I cleaned up the house, which meant moving all of the clothes from the couch into here. <laughs> this is on top of our lovely laundry machines. Um, yeah, so I think today I'm pretty much just going to work on listing that stuff so that instead of putting it back on the couch, I can just put it away in the bins. That seems the most reasonable for me. It's raining, like I don't <laughs> not be able to photograph or anything, so my husband's just in the living room playing with his new Sackboy game, which is a video game. Let me like, clear that up. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna get to work. I did not do any relisting on Christmas Eve. 
So last night I went through and relisted 100 items instead of just 50 to kind of make up for the 50 that I missed. And then I sent out offers last night and literally seven of them got accepted. Seven. People apparently got money for Christmas. Okay. So um, I'm really happy about that <laughs> to sell some things. And then I'm also hoping to um, go on eBay and update some listings for auctions and just send those over to auction to see if I can sell them before the new year hits. That's the plan for today. I ended up at a Goodwill that I pretty much never go to because I'm not in the area. But I was stopping my friends to drop off a present and is right by her house so we'll see if I find anything. Ooh, oh, why is it about thirteen dollars? Darn, that's unfortunate. So I looked through the shoes and didn't find anything and now I'm doing dresses. Sorry if the camera's like super out of focus. Um, I found a Garnet Hill dress but that's been it so far. We'll see. Okay, I moved over to the long sleeve. I looked through small and medium for the dresses and I only found that one. I'm gonna just look through the smaller sizes because I'm more likely to find stuff to buy in there. And uh, so that's where I'm gonna look. And I have to keep these short because copyright music. <laughs> okay, so I did end up finding a couple of things, I think four. So I'll show you guys once I get in. But some of the stuff I passed on, I passed on a uh, Rails X Free People top, the Charlie top. So it's only in like the $30 range and they had it priced at $8. Um, I left behind a lace joie top. The style just wasn't that great. Um, and I left behind a plus size, like a 2X Athleta long sleeve. It's like almost made of a, like a line material from Lululemon. Um, but it had a stain on the front. I was so sad. And then I also left behind, there's one other thing that I put back. Oh, a Citron Santa Monica silk like kimono thing, but a zebra print and it was like bright green and I'm sure it would have sold relatively well, but I just didn't want to buy it. So I didn't buy it. <laughs> um, once I get inside, I will show you guys what I did buy once I get it hung up. All right. So here's the things I got at Goodwill. This is my first time finding this brand, Proenza Schuler. Um, this is a little polka dot New York City button down and it was six dollars which I'll halfway pay six dollars for this most recent comp on Poshmark in fact the only comp is for a hundred and fifty dollars so <laughs> casual um <laughs> then I got this Lululemon coat it is a downfilled coat this is called the what did I call it cold cold winter cold climate the Brave the Cold Jacket. Um, this is a size four, and here's the logo down here. I did spend $25 on this from Goodwill, which is kind of expensive for what I usually buy, but I knew it was downfill, but I knew that I could get good money for it, so I bought it without looking up any comps, but um, I'm very, very happy with this purchase. I think it'll be able to flip pretty quick, and it does need a lint roll on the inside because there's some feathers, but other than that, it's in good shape, man. 25 bucks. Well spent, I think. Then I grabbed this Alambica. You guys saw that I bought this for the first time somewhere in here. Um, <laughs> that weird asymmetrical top. This is just a button front little shirt. What is that? Oh, a fuzz. <laughs> I was like, a stain, really? No. Um, but it does have some texture to it, so I'll might take a sweater shaver to it and just see if I can get a little bit of that off, but for the most part, I think it'll be okay. Size 2. Um, this one was four no six dollars again but I think it'll sell for probably forty or fifty dollars um, based on the comps now the last thing I got is this really pretty like sparkly burgundy I don't know if you want to call it spotted tank top um, this just says anthropology right here but this is actually a cut off a Kemi and Kin tag and this is a size small um, and there are none sold, but two listed on Poshmark um, for $40 and $50. So this is in great condition other than the cut tag. Oh, I thought that was a snag right there. <laughs> um, and this was only $4. So I think I would definitely make good money on this one as well. I think it might be a newer piece. 
from maybe this season or last since there's like no solds and there's an exposed zipper in the back too. All right, guys, that is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm kind of going along with my journey over the last couple of days. Um, hopefully there will be another video tomorrow. My husband's going snow wheeling again to a different place. So I'll be home, hopefully doing some reselling. So you guys can actually see some reseller content. I don't know, maybe just thought, think about it. Um, <laughs> so I'll see you then. Um, if you ended up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really supports my channel and subscribe if you aren't quite yet. I will see you guys tomorrow and have a great night. Bye.